Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time since I've posted and I apologize for that. I've just been super busy with work. Um, I had a lot of competitions with my dance team. So yeah, it's been a really busy few months, um, but I'm back now and today we're gonna be doing a full body stretch. I know that I need it, you guys probably need it since my long absence. So we're just gonna get right into it. We're actually gonna start standing today. So I'm gonna stand up we're just gonna start with a few breaths. So I'm gonna take a deep inhale and fill my lungs. Breathe in and then exhale. Push down with your hands and then nod the head down. Again, we breathe in and exhale. Push down, nod the head. One more time here, inhale and then Exhale as you nod the head down. Good, next we're gonna do a little side stretch, all right? So I'm gonna take one foot behind, my ankle is off, the, I mean, my heel is off the floor. I'm gonna take my wrist and I'm just gonna pull it up and over my head. You should feel it in the side and maybe a little bit in your arm or tricep area. And it doesn't need to be big or anything like that. Just a slight little pull and then we'll push down just like we did with those exhales. Take the other side, take that foot behind, I'm grabbing my wrist, and then I'm gonna pull gently for a little side stretch. A little inhale here, and then exhale as I go down. Next, I'm gonna take a little like squat thing. I don't really know what to call it, but I'll face the side so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to come down to a squat and frame my head with my hands, keeping my back straight. So you should be one line leading up to your hands from your back. And then I'm going to push back into a flat back, straighten out my knees. And then I'll take it again, bringing those arms in and then exhaling back. We'll take two more, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Take one more here and we'll hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Push back and you can straighten up from here. All right, from here I'm going to take a roll down, starting with my head. Head drops first. I roll down through my spine through each vertebrae, slowly letting myself come to just like a ragdoll position at the bottom. You can keep the knees soft here if you're feeling a lot of tension in your hamstrings. All right, and we'll take a bend of the knees, my hands come down to the floor, and then I'll straighten out. Good, keep that head dropped, bend the knees, and then straighten out. Good, two more, bend and straighten, think about your breath here, bend and straighten, good. I'm gonna go into elephant walk, so we bend one knee at a time, your hands can be on the floor, or if you can't reach the floor, they can be on your hips here. And then I'm gonna bend and then straighten the other leg, so I'm just bending one knee at a time, really loosening up those hamstrings and taking deep breaths while I do so. You can go as fast or as slow as you would like. I recommend taking it a little bit slower, especially if this is your first time stretching for the day. Good, I'll ragdoll here again. Take a deep inhale. And now I'm gonna roll up through my spine. So I'm gonna tuck my tail underneath first. My head is still down. It's gonna be the last thing to come up. And there, okay. Next. I'm gonna take a deep squat here. My feet are turned out. Make sure those knees are nice and wide. I'm gonna come down, put my hands on either side of my knees, and then I'm going to drop my shoulder and push outwards on that knee. You should feel an inner thigh stretch here. And then I'm going to twist the other way. Take it again. One more time each side and then come down. If you would like a super deep hip stretch here, 
you can come down all the way, elbows push those knees outwards, and you come to a squat here. And breathe. Good. And then you can kind of just come down either side. All right, next I'm going to come to my knees, bring one foot out, and then just kind of sit back on it. If this is too much, just come up here and try to hold it. You should feel the inside of your thighs start to stretch a little bit. And then if you would like, and sit back on it. Thinking about your breath here. And then to get out of it, I just place my hands down, bring that leg in, and I'll take the other side. Good. Take a deep breath. And exhale. leg back in, come to an all fours position on the ground. My hands are right underneath my shoulders and my knees are right underneath my hips. I'm going to tuck my toes underneath and go to a bear hold here. I'm not exactly sure if that's what it's called, but that's what I was always told it was called. Whatever you want to call this position, your knees are hovering. And then I'm going to push back into a downwards facing dog. I want your chest to try to feel like it's reaching through the frame of your arms and then we'll come back down to that hold here. Knees are lifted and push in, little ab work here, and come down. And inhale, exhale, squeeze the abs in, inhale, and exhale, squeeze the abs. One last time, inhale, and exhale, hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knees, push back into a child's pose here. You can kind of rock your hips a little bit if that feels good for you. You can have the knees wide or tucked in nice and close. Doesn't matter, whatever feels good for you today. I'm going to draw my hands over to one side, a little stretch in the shoulders here, and then draw my hands over to the other side, good. One more time to the front to really kind of stretch those shoulders. Take your fingers and then walk them out a little bit more if you want a little bit more of an arm stretch. Good. Next we'll take cat and cow, really simple. I do this in almost all my videos just because it's such a good stretch for your spine. And yeah, it's just <laughs> amazing. So we'll take our cow. We lift the head up, arch the back, and then tuck the tail underneath. Head goes with the tail of your spine. Tuck, scoop the abs out. And then back to cow. My hair's in my face, just ignore it. And then come back into scary cat. Two more rounds. We go up, arch the back, push together. And then spread the shoulder blades apart, tail tucks underneath. Breathe. Good, and come back to that child's pose position. Good. All right, little arm stretch here, very simple. Again, just a nice full body stretch today. I want us to take the arms and circle them back. You can do the standing or sitting, whatever you prefer. And we'll circle them to the front. Good, and I'll cross one arm here. And then if you would like, you could take it even deeper and wrap your forearm around. And take the other arm, stretch it. And if you would like deeper, you can wrap that forearm around. Good, next, I'm gonna come here I'm going to place my left leg underneath and right leg over top. And I'm going to twist towards that knee for a little 
spine stretch here. Take a deep breath. Try to keep your collarbones and chest open here. Try not to crunch down too much. And let's take the other side. I'll turn this way. Crossing that leg and twisting. Let's go into our leg stretches for the day. So, I'm going to start in a lunge position here. And sometimes I like to do this with a yoga block. Oh, I don't know where my yoga block is right now. But you could place a yoga block underneath your foot if you would like. If not, just start here. This is going to be a deep stretch for the inside of your thigh. I'll start on this side so you can see a little better. All right, so I'm in this position. I have both of my hands on my leg, and I'm going to think about tucking that tail underneath. It doesn't look like I'm doing much, but you should really feel a big stretch on the front of your hip here. All right. Good. And breathe. And relax. Good. Next, I'm going to take it a little bit further, and I'm going to lean forward in that leg. This is a really good stretch if you're trying to achieve, uh, sorry, if you're trying to achieve, oh my gosh, I can't talk today, <laughs> if you're trying to get your front splits. All right, this is something that I teach my dancers all the time. And then I lean back for half split here. If you'd like a deeper stretch, you can flex that foot here. If not, you can keep it relaxed. But I like to flex the foot for a little bit deeper of a stretch. And then I'll go back in, breathe, and push back. Good. Next, I'll take one of my favorite poses of all time, our pigeon pose. Again, I do this in a lot of my videos just because it's such a good stretch. All right. So one thing with pigeon pose, a lot of people say they experience pain with this. I had um, a person in one of my classes say that they experience a lot of pain and a lot of tightness in this. And um, most of the time it's because you have your foot out too far. If you're experiencing pain in this, all right, the easier this pose becomes is when you tuck your foot a little bit more underneath yourself. The harder it gets if your leg is at like a 90 degree angle. So just adjust accordingly to what you need, all right? And you can stay upright or you can kind of bow over that leg. Good, and right from here, I'm just gonna keep this leg bent and then this leg straight and reach up and over towards that leg. little side stretch here. Try, um, for this pose, try not to bow your shoulder across your face. You want to keep your body nice and square here. Chest is opened. Everything is stacked. And then what you want to, what you want to do is turn your torso towards that leg and then lean towards it. Good. Let's take the other side of all of that. So, again, starting with that lunge pose right here. Again, it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing much, but trust me, you'll feel it in the front of that hip here. So again, I'm going to focus on tucking the tail underneath, squeezing that glute, and really feeling it in front of that thigh. And then relax. Good, taking it a little bit deeper, pushing down through and breathing. And then I'm gonna push back for that half split. 
again, flexing that foot if you would like a deeper stretch through your calf and the back of your hamstring. I like to drop my head here as well. And we'll come back one more time, stretch through. And push back, flex that foot. Good. Going into that pigeon pose here. Again, thinking about the placement of that foot and how it relates to your pain or what you need for your body. Just take note of that. And again, you can keep upright, or if you'd like to take it a little bit further, you can go down. Deep breaths. Good, keeping that leg bent, I'm gonna sit back, and then I'll reach up and over towards that leg. So towards that leg and reach towards that foot or your ankle or your calf, wherever you're at today. All right. Good. Bringing both of my feet together. Another little hip opener here. Grabbing onto both my ankles, pushing down on my knees. If not, if this is enough for you, do not push, push down on your knees. I am a dance teacher, so I have a little bit more range here. All right, so again, totally up to you. But grab those ankles and try to get your head as close as you can to your feet. And just breathe here. Good, letting the feet come to the front. Use your hands and the back to support yourself. You can kind of lean back here. We're gonna roll out our ankles here just to warm them up. You can hear my ankles cracking. <laughs> Good. I'm going to point my feet. If you know our dancer, you know that we always point our feet. Take my arms above my head and just try to get my torso as close to my legs as possible. I'm not really worried about how far my hands are going. I'm more worried about how close my torso is to my legs. And this is going to help you a lot if you are a person who wants to be able to reach towards your feet. It's less about your arms reaching forward and more about your torso reaching downwards. Yes? And then we'll come up, flex the feet. Now we reach forward. Good, open your legs up to a V position. You can be here. I like to be out here. Um, and we're going to walk our hands forward as far as you can and just breathe here take breaks as you need if you want to walk your hands in and then walk your hands back out and then continuing to do that making this more of a dynamic stretch then please do that whatever feels good for you today please take all of my stretches and make them your own all right, after that, I'm gonna take my knees and just drop one in at a time for a little counter stretch. Give my hips a little break here. Good. And last, I really wanna focus on the head here. All right, so I wanna start just looking up and down. If you're looking at your phone a lot or you work at a desk, I definitely recommend doing some neck stretches every day. All right, so I'm just looking up 
and down. And then I'm going to work left to right. And take your time, really try to go as far as you can in range. And then I'll tilt my head, put one hand on top, let this shoulder drop down for a little side of the neck stretch. And I'll take the other side. Really letting that shoulder rest and drop down. Not too much pressure on the head here, just the weight of your hand. Good. I'll clasp the fingers behind my head, drop my chin, and then drop the elbows in. And then to come out of it, just open the elbows up. Good. Last but not least, I like to do a little open chest. So I'm going to take my feet and put them into like a little tabletop like this. I'll twist to one side and really reach throughout my opposite hand here and look that way. A little spine twist here. And and then I'll twist the other way. And come up. You can hug your knees into your chest, do a little rock from side to side. And hopefully this was a nice little full body stretch for you. I know this one wasn't insanely crazy as some of my other ones have been, but I just wanted to do something nice and light and easy that you can follow along to, all right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please comment anything that you guys wanna see next. I love taking suggestions. It helps me with some ideas for my videos and it helps me um, figure out what you guys need in your stretches. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please go check out my other videos. I'll be uploading again very soon, I promise, okay? Till next time, bye.